Hello there guys and I hope you're having a great day and welcome to our Wix vs WordPress review. So I'm pretty sure that you have heard at least a little about both Wix and WordPress and you might be a little bit confused now as you possibly cannot choose between these two. That's why you're here watching this video, right? So, okay, I get it and I really want to solve this situation and explain which of these two website builders can be better for you, whether it's going to be Wix or maybe WordPress. And one thing to mention before we start is that I'm going to compare Wix to WordPress.com, which is a web builder and not WordPress.org, which is a CMS. Don't get confused here. So in this video, I will speak about the best features of these two website builders. Who are they going to be best for? How good are they for blogging and for e-commerce? And I will speak about the pricing of both Wix and WordPress. So basically, I will tell you everything you need to know about these two website builders, and then you should probably be able to decide which one is the right one. And just so you know, we have written reviews of these and other website builders on our website, mybestwebsitebuilder.com. So feel free to check it out. Okay, let's get started. So starting from the beginning, I'll speak about Wix and its functionality. As a matter of fact, this website builder is probably one of the most user-friendly website builders out there. Everything here is really easy to use and super intuitive as you have the option to drag and drop anything you want onto your website, whether it's a button, an image, a video, basically whatever you want. You can just click and drag it anywhere on the site. There are barely any restrictions, I mean, at least I couldn't find them, and that's a really cool feature where some other other website builders don't have it. So that's a really good thing for those, especially those who are just starting and barely have any experience in website building. Now, on the other hand, WordPress is not the most difficult website builder either, as it also has a drag and drop option, but it's a little different. More or less, it's like Weebly's where you can actually take whatever you want and drop it on your website, but you will have sort of predefined places for that. And yeah, it's a little different from Wix. However, take a look at the list of the features you can add to your site. There are lots of them and I will not try to mention every single one of them. But you can see the list right now on the screen. Wix on the other hand also has lots of features but WordPress may have just a little more. So in terms of ease of use, I would say that Wix might give you a little more flexibility here. But you will have fewer chances to make a mess out of your website using WordPress because of those predefined places that you will have. So at this point, I think that WordPress is kind of a safer option. But at the same time, Wix has this amazing drag and drop feature where you can put anything you want anywhere you want. Now, continuing this WordPress versus Wix review, let's quickly look into the templates. I think that templates are super important as they give you this great shortcut where you can just skip the coding part, which you can, by the way, do though with WordPress, and just apply visuals to your site. So Wix has over 100 templates, which are all free and are pretty well made, and I think that you will be able to find the one you prefer the most. Additionally, Wix has sort of artificial intelligence that asks a few questions and then generates the website for you regarding the needs you mainly have for your website. But it's only an option, I mean this is like a feature that you can use if you want to or you can just create a website on your own. And I still think that it's super cool. On the other side of the boat, WordPress has lots of free templates as well which are okay but they're really not something special and I'm not fascinated by the looks of them. I guess it's okay because you have lots of freedom and flexibility with WordPress and you can edit everything yourself, but still, that's a difference in comparison with Wix. Plus, there are premium templates that are pretty much the same visual-wise and they cost around 100 bucks, as some of them are $50 each and others can go up to 150 So all in all, regarding the templates, both Wix and WordPress offer pretty decent templates, but Wix is are a little better in my opinion. Guys, and if you already find this video informative and useful, please hit a like button as it means a lot to me. Thanks. Now, continuing this WordPress versus Wix review, let's talk more about the e-commerce features as they're super important as well. Especially, well, if you're planning on building your e-commerce site, like an e-shop. 
Wix has an option to add products to your website, where the whole setup process is pretty straightforward. You can edit titles, descriptions, images of your products, SEO settings, which I believe is necessary, and lots of other basic stuff. You can edit the URL, add SEO title and description, plus you can add special coupons, create and send email campaigns, and so on. By the way, we have discount coupons as well, so you can check them out in the description. Those are, you know, for website builders. <laughs> so WordPress, on the other hand, for e-commerce offers WooCommerce, which is a well-known builder, but you will need to have the business plan in order to use e-commerce features. And the same goes for Wix as well. If you decide that you want to use e-commerce features for Wix, you will still need to have a business plan. But I will speak about the plans and the pricing in just a few minutes. Nonetheless, I find WordPress to be way better than Wix for e-commerce as the functionality here is way more advanced. So of course, you can edit the basic information such as the name of your product, the description, image and so on. But here in the advanced tab, you can do even more. You can work with your inventory, add shipping information and options, add linked products for cross-selling, which is super amazing. And not many other website builders offer this functionality add extra attributes and yeah you can do a lot here so all in all in terms of product customization wordpress wins here the rest of the options are set of payments as there are over 60 of them where wix has a similar number of them set up information about taxes shipping and then you can personalize your store by adding a custom home page logo and store notice so all in all, I would say that if your main aim is to make an advanced e-commerce site, I would recommend WordPress over Wix. But if you're aiming at making a simple yet functional e-commerce site, Wix is a better choice here. Okay, so now it is super important to touch on another important topic, which is blogging. How good are Wix and WordPress for blogging? Which one is better? Both website builders offer blogging tools that allow you to add those beautiful posts where you write about Captain Jack Sparrow and his journey. Well, <laughs> and it helps you bring more organic traffic to your website. But let's take a little deeper look at what they have under the hood. So Wix again is super simplistic here. As you press create a new post, a window appears where you can add a catchy title, then write your blog post. And that's pretty much it. I mean, yes, you can add images, hashtags, but that's pretty much it. Now, WordPress, we're still talking about WordPress.com, looks pretty much the same from the first glimpse, but once you press this magical button right here, a whole list of possible edits appears. You can add everything here. I will not even try to list and mention everything you can do here. You can see everything on the screen. So say you want to add an image that is like the most common feature you are most likely to use. Once you add it, you can adjust the size of it, crop it, change the position of it, and do much more. So WordPress actually allows you to add almost unlimited content to your blog posts, which are just great. And if you're looking forward to building a blog website and you want to have tons of extra features, WordPress might be the best choice for you. But again, if you want simplicity, Wix will do its job as well. Now, continuing this WordPress versus Wix review, it's time to talk about which of these two website builders is actually going to be better for you. Well, it all comes down to two things. One, your main aim towards your website and two, the level of your website building skills. If we speak about your main aim, your main goal. It really depends on what kind of website you're planning to make. If it's a portfolio page, a personal brand page, some sort of a website that doesn't require you to have blogging tools and e-commerce features. I would say that Wix is going to be a better option as it is much simpler, yet really functional and easy to customize. As if you need blogging and e-commerce features, you can still choose Wix over WordPress, but you will have fewer features as for comparison with WordPress. WordPress can offer you way Way more customization options and you will probably not happen to find yourself in a situation where you say hey i am missing something here but you will need to have a level of website building knowledge in order to fully understand and be able to use wordpress so if you're just starting my advice would be to test both of these website builders out as i have trial links for both of these website builders in the description down below or if you don't want to spend your time whilst testing my personal recommendation again is to go for wix as it's just much simpler and you'll have less struggle or no struggle at all as for wordpress you might have a little hassle, but it might be a little more rewarding.
Now, wrapping up this WordPress versus Wix review, let's talk about the pricing of both website builders. So when it comes to the basic plans that do not include e-commerce features, in my experience, the unlimited or the pro plan offers just enough to have the best out of Wix. Now on the other side, and the good thing is that you will also get a free domain for any of the plans that you'll get from WordPress.com. I would only recommend the personal plan if you're only planning on having your website as a portfolio, for example, because you will have very limited functions. At least consider getting the premium plan, which is only $8 per month and offers quite a lot, including live chat support, which is super nice. But if you're planning on using e-commerce features, you will need to get one of the e-commerce plans for either Wix or WordPress. Wix's e-commerce plans start at $23 per month and can go up to $49 per month for the VIP plan. As for WordPress, they will charge you $45 per month for their e-commerce plan. So that's a very similar price compared to Wix's. However, check the description down below for a link to their pricing table as the prices change from time to time and it might be different now. So I recommend checking the price right now as it may be even better at this moment. And I have trial links down in the description below in case you might want to try the website builders out first before getting either of the plans mentioned before. So that's pretty much it for our WordPress versus Wix review. Thanks for watching and if you liked what you saw, please hit a like and subscribe to the channel as it means a lot to me. And you can find a full written review about these and other website builders on our website mybestwebsitebuilder.com. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.